Hey everybody, it is uh, June 16th and uh, Friday evening about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, so this week was going to be a, a little bit different. Um, this week we had planned to participate in the Hot Rod Power Tour for uh, 2023. It started in Atlanta, Georgia at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Went to Columbia, South Carolina, um, Charlotte, North Carolina, Rockingham, North Carolina, and then Bristol, Tennessee. And uh, it's a little over a thousand miles. And so we've been working on the, the dart, trying to get it ready, trying to get it roadworthy. Um, that was going to be the longest trip we've ever taken it on. The most I think I've done is a hundred miles. And, uh, so this was going to be a huge, huge, uh, opportunity for us. And, um, we worked real hard. We had uh, a couple of things we needed to really get done and we got most of it done. We thought the car was roadworthy. And, uh, the last day or two before, uh, hot rod power tour, we went to get the car aligned and things went horribly, horribly wrong. So, um, ended up, we participated in the first day. Um, we actually planned on trailering the car to Atlanta, and then we were gonna stop at a friend's house about 20 miles from the event, drive it the rest of the way, and um, participate, bring it back, trailer it, and then drive up to Columbia and, and so on and so on. But uh, yeah, it went downhill real, real quick. So um, let me show you a couple of things that, that have happened and uh, I'll explain it to you. And then I'll show some footage of, and photos that we took at Hot Rod Power Tour, some of the swag that they gave away and uh, we'll wrap it up. But let me show you what we got. Okay, so one of the problems I had is the passenger side tire here is towed in more than the, the driver's side of the tire. What that means is that the front of the tire is tilted in more than the driver's side is. So what ends up happening, this tire straight, the passenger tire is wanting to, to go this way. Um, so it can cause excessive wear on the tire. The other issue I've got is this tire is almost zero camber. So meaning it's, it's absolutely vertical or almost vertical. The driver's side tire is cambered in um, greatly. So what that means is that the, uh, on this tire, on the passenger side, it's running on the entire tread. So if this is the tread, it's running using all the tread. Well, on the driver's side, because it's towed in, that means the tire, the bottom of the tire is sitting like this. I'm just riding on like this much of the tread. So I'm wearing the inside wall of the tire out very, very quickly. Um, didn't realize this when we gave it to the car to my dad. Um, this isn't something that just happened. It's something that we didn't realize had happened. But um, as my dad drove the car, he never said anything about it. When I started driving the car, I knew something wasn't right and I've been looking at things, but I haven't figured it out. Um, a friend of mine helped me look at it and he's the one who pointed it out that I needed to probably get it realigned and just see where it fell. And that's when we found all the problems that popped up. So I'm gonna give you a little closer look of what we got. All right, so there's a lot of stuff in here. What you're looking at right here, whoop, finger in the screen, sorry. Right down here is the upper uh, A-arm. So you can see that slot in the front bolt right here, right there. And there's another slot back here for the rear one. Well, the one on the front is all the way outboard. The one on the, the rear is all the way inboard. So that's causing the tire to tow more than it should. Also, if you look down, so my shock mount is right here. You see where my, the top of my upper control arm is. 
the, the ball joint in it is behind the shock mount. So as we look down at the driver's side, you can see that the front is where it is on the other side. But if you look at the back bolt right here, it's all the way outboard too. So that's causing the tire to, to pitch a little more. I don't know if we can see it or not. Let me see. Uh, all right, so there's my shock mount. I'm gonna roll over here. Whoop. And if you look here, the the ball joint is a little more in line with that shock tower. Um, so it's not quite as far behind the shock tower as it is on the passenger side. So all of that is causing the alignment to be totally, totally messed up. So normally, adjusting all this and getting the car aligned is no issue. But what we ran into, if you look right here, you see the silver paint? That header is hitting the shock tower right there. And when we come over here, whoop, sorry about the shakiness, y'all. We come over here, if you look right here, uh, come on, there you go. That upper control arm is hitting that tube and it's hitting it to the point that that tube is actually dimpled so as the adjustment moves in and out um it's causing a lot of issue with the car with that tube hitting the upper control arm the only option i have is to bring it into the shop take the exhaust off of it take it have it aligned so the alignment is correct cut the exhaust apart and put it back on and refabricate it. So that's what we're gonna do. The other issue we ran into is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but you can see the steering knuckle right here. Well, when the car compresses, the exhaust pipe is actually hitting the steering knuckle. So we've also gotta address that issue. Now, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's, uh, that's not a good thing at all, but we were thinking, okay, you know, it won't handle driving a thousand miles, but 15, 20 miles at a time um, should be fine. And yeah, it may wear the front tires out, but we can, we can deal with it. You know, it's not going to completely destroy the car. It's not going to be really unsafe. It's not going to be any more than we've been driving it the last five years. So that's what we were gonna do. Well, then we ran into some other issues. As you can see, the brake lights are on. There's nobody in the car. In fact, the key is not in the ignition. We thought it was the brake pedal return spring, but that's not actually the problem. There is a short in the electrical system somewhere. So, you can see the mess of wires down here. Where I tried to go through it and figure it out and there's five or six grounds up under here and it just, I could not find the right ground that's causing it. But along with it, I lost all of my other gauges. So no fuel gauge, no temperature gauge, no oil pressure, no charging gauge. The only one I had was the speedometer. So without a temperature gauge, the vehicle it could possibly run hot. The other concern I had was if all the electrical stuff's going bad on me, that's an electric water pump and I've got an electric fan. If I lose both of those, I can detonate my engine melt it down and then i've really got a bad time so yeah so with all of that going on it just i've got a lot of emotion a lot of time invested in the car and i really just don't want to destroy it so uh we made the hard decision to go on and pack the car up 
We enjoyed the day at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We got to meet a bunch of great people, um, some fellow YouTube creators, and just had a good time. Saw a lot of things, got to see new products, got to see really cool cars, and just some amazing things. So um, I'm gonna show you some of the video and what we got to see, what we got to do, and uh, then we'll come back and we'll do a closing. It's going to be the best week ever! So great. We got Jeff Fistead here. You'll be I know you're going to be signing some autographs every oh, single year already. You got to. Saw the one in the hood cow, that was pretty cool. And we transferred it to the back of the seat. Oh yeah. So as you can see, it was an awesome day. Um 
Really hate that we didn't get to do the whole thing. Uh, I found out later I probably could have gotten another vehicle and just kept going. Um, first time doing it, didn't know that. But uh, it won't be my last. So we have decided we're going to go on and do it next year. Um, we're actually going to plan a little better. I planned this in about two months and it was a very lofty goal so I'm, I'm happy that I even got to where I was but we're gonna try to do some stuff uh, for this coming the 2024 power tour we're gonna try to get this car back running everything right on it and we're probably gonna try to get one more vehicle that way we've got two going um, so a couple of things we're gonna do but we're gonna work on that throughout the year we're going to have it ready for a power tour next year, and y'all are going to get to come along with us. Hey, I hope you're having a great day. I know it's another beautiful day here in paradise for us, so uh, thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you enjoyed watching and seeing what we were doing. Thank you for the new subscribers. God bless you. Thank you for the old subscribers. I'm so glad and so blessed to have y'all um, supporting us and commenting. Please like, comment. Um, subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you on the next one.